So I can go ahead and install it. All right, install Drupal in English. And of course, we're not going to see any errors this time just because I, I fixed it up. But watch it throw like 65 errors. <laughs> it's typical. Again, it's just kind of going through, setting up the, the, the logging for the modules and stuff, all right? So I can call this, you know, in a folder, all right? Just for a site name. And of course, I can just do support at masterflash.net again. And I can go ahead and set up my username. All right, clean URLs enabled, time's good. Check for updates automatically. I can save and continue. All right, so again, you know, we just installed a second installation. All right, it's the second website done in basically an hour. All right. Um, and of course, you know, you can just sort of create your, your documents in here. Now, obviously what you see here, all right, so if I copy this, okay, and close this out, all I have to do is just paste and go. And then of course, what do you know? You're in the secondary Drupal installation that we've created. And uh, that's basically how you install the Drupal installation inside of a folder, all right? Uh, I know I probably didn't need to run through that, but the fact is is that a lot of you probably got this to see how you do it on your homepage, to see how you do it in a folder, and basically just, just running through the motions, all right? All right, so let's get back to the cool stuff. Okay, so um, what I've done, uh, I've gone ahead and added a homepage, and I really just did this just to be kind of funny, and... Uh, not really funny, I guess, but just to get the image tag in here, all right? And what I've just put in here, since it is the home page, okay, so if I click on the, on the home page, all right, welcome to Master Flash Corporation, welcome to the temporary home page, because it's a sense, in a sense, is the home page, okay? So, <clears throat> I'm going to be doing a lot of jumping around here. Um, you know, what's most important that I, that I need to show you before anything else is this administer, in, administrator or administer link. All right, so if I click on this, you know, we e immediately get a note that Drupal is trying to tell us that cron has not run, you know, for more information, or please visit the status report for more information, all right? We'll run cron in a minute. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to have us go through a couple things. Um, and then, uh, then, then I'm going to set this up with this menu that I was telling you about at the end of part one uh, that basically allows us to access everything that we need um, instead of having to go in here and just sort of dig all throughout it. It's got basically a menu pre-built that has got all of your content and modules, okay? So just running through here, comments, you know, comments is where if somebody posted some content, you can go approve them or remove them or edit them, all right? Uh, content is basically going to provide you with a list of all the content. Content types is basically going to show you all the different types of content you can run on your site. All right, page and story, and you can obviously edit the settings. Okay. Um, user management. This is where you would basically control the users. Um, I'll probably get into a little bit of this. Probably not that much because this, you know, user management and controlling um, roles and things like that that allow you that allow users to have certain permissions is basically a project of its own, right? That is definitely a, uh, a monster undertaking that um, needs a lot of time, and this is really just to get through the basics, all right? Uh, of course, site building, you know, the blocks that I was telling you about, the menus, um, obviously you've got your navigation over here and you've got the primary links. Well, there's other ways to build blocks and throw menus inside of those blocks and then just have it a part of the, um, you know, Drupal system that allows you to control it through everything. And we can head into our forum topics. I'm just going to view more. All right, so in here, what we've done is we've just created a couple of different containers. All right, our training or feedback, that's one container. Developer center membership and support levels, that's one container. Um, you know, share snippets, that's one container. SEO and SEM center, that's one container. E-commerce and shopping carts, another container. And then, of course, streaming for websites is another container. All right. And uh, here's the admin menu I'm going to show you how to, how to do in a minute. So if I go into forums, I can sit here and, and list the, the containers. And you can see sort of the, uh, the layout or the hierarchy of how we have it set up. All right. Obviously, you can see container, 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 container. And all the rest of the stuff is forums. 
because you can't post in a container. You can only post in a forum, all right? So in a sense, what you want to do is you want to create some sort of thing. You know, you can sit here and say, my first container. All right, description be like, you know, this is where the first container topics are going to be. All right, and then of course the root, you want, want this the root because you don't have any type of hierarchy already set up as far as the layout of the content and all that good stuff. All right, so we can save. And what that then does is creates the container. All right, well, we can't post into my first container. So what we can do, what can we do? We can put, you know, my first forum. Okay, and put, I want you to ask questions about my forum. All right, and then of course parent down here, what we can then do is we can already go ahead and preset my first container, all right? But instead of doing that with ease of use, I'm gonna show you another way to do it. So I'm just gonna keep this at root, all right? So I'm just gonna hit save. All right, so now we have the container and then we have the forum, except the first forum is not inside of the actual container. So what we can we do? We can click and drag it up and out, just like that, all right? So that way it kind of looks like it's tabbed out a little bit, and then I can hit save. All right, and then we can go back into our create content and forum topic, all right? And then, of course, you know, welcome to my first whatever, all right? And then I can post inside of my container or I can post inside of my first forum, all right? And then, of course, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put, you know, first forum, okay? And I'm going to add this to the primary links up here again. All right, I'm just going to come down and grab some weird number like 10, all right? I can put, hey, ask questions about my forum or anything. All right, and then again, like I said, you can add any kind of tags here. Again, we'll just do strong, close it. Obviously, what I can do is I can set past settings, you know, uh, what do we call this? Welcome to my first Drupal forum. Welcome. To my first Drupal forum. All right, and of course you want people to sound off, so read, write, publishing options. You only want it published. So if I hit save, all right, we now have that. Obviously, our URL path in here. Okay, so if we come down and we notice that now we have new forum topics, my first Drupal forum. All right, so if I click here, it's basically going to take us to this page. It allows people to add con or add comments. All right, for example. All right, none of those changes have taken place on this little thing right here, all right? So if I bring this in so we can see everything, and I go ahead and, you know, like head towards the homepage, all right, you can see that everything takes place and basically updates over here, all right? So if I hit more, you can actually see, you know, the layout of how you set up your containers and all of your forums, okay? And then, of course, you know, you can click in here, and it just takes it into a little bit to all the topics, and then people can actually specifically choose, you know, your list of uh, forum topics, all right? And then again, all that good stuff.